Chining. Yeah. <laughs> I've chosen Chinese, and as soon as I say it, Jessie looks really relieved and she says yes. So this could be a big mistake. Wow, OK, great, Billy. So Chinese it is. That means, Jessie, you get to pick the core ingredient. I'm going to go with chicken. Great. So the remainder of the rules, you have 60 minutes to cook. And because this is such an important round, It'll be a blind tasting. So, Shannon, you take the floor and we'll see your dishes very soon. Good luck. OK, this is the big one. Guaranteed immunity. We've got the power apron. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. OK. Your time starts now. I'm going to go with my gut instinct and cook Haney's chicken soup with fresh noodles and a chicken roulade. Chinese and chicken. <laughs> mm. I want to have a play with fresh noodles today because I just think it's something that will elevate the dish from, you know, being quite a simple dish to kind of bringing it up a level. Faster, faster, faster! <laughs> the dish I'm cooking today is a chicken Mary lamp and make an orange and star anise glaze to put over at the end. This dish would take two hours to cook in the oven, but today I've only got half of that time, so I'm going to twice cook it instead. Firstly in the pressure cooker and then in the oven to crisp up the skin. This dish rides on the chicken. It's, it's got to be cooked well and it's got to taste really good. I want the meat to be falling off the bones, so having that time in the pressure cooker is really important. So Billy's twice cooking her chicken today, and I think the problem with that is the chicken could become dry if it's overcooked, so she just needs to be careful that she gets that right. Bloody hot. First thing I've got to do is to get my chicken rule out on. Good Jesse. I want to remove the skin without breaking it, so just sort of, it's like taking off a cardigan, which is really gross, and you want to keep it whole. Good Jesse. Ugh, so much chicken on me. To finish off my roulade, I'm just going to tie some string around it so when I fry it at the end, it won't just burst apart. Wrap it in glad wrap really tightly and put it in a sous vide bag and just pop it in the sous vide machine. At the same time, I've got my stock happening in the pressure cooker and then I've got to get onto my fresh noodle component of the dish. Guaranteed immunity is on the line. 30 minutes to go. my chickens in the pressure cooker and I need to get on to this uh, orange glaze. So I get some orange juice, some orange flesh, uh, cinnamon, star anise and sugar and cook that down in a saucepan until it's like a syrup. You making a noodle, Jessie? Yeah, nice. My roulade's in the sous vide machine, so I've got to get on to my fresh noodle component of the dish. Usually I, when I make noodles at home, like um, I probably have a little bit longer than an hour and I'd just like to take my time, so hopefully I can get it done. The fresh noodles, it's tapioca flour and rice flour with a bit of water and then you steam them until they cook through. Hopefully this one will work. Good work, Jessie. Uh-oh. You happy with them, Jessie? I think that one's a little bit under. Yeah. I usually get the first one wrong. Let's do that another second. It's all going to plan. I check out my second batch of rice noodles. The noodles haven't worked. Oh my god, I'm making a huge mess. I'm just freaking out. Mm -hmm. They're not up to scratch. And if I don't get the dish right, then I won't have a chance with both the pin and the power apron. Mm -hmm. I'm half toying with the idea of leaving the noodles off the plate. I know that it's a little bit grainy. I don't know. I'm just not sure if they're good enough. But if they're not there, I think it will bring the dish down a level. So I'm still going to make a few more batches. I think I've been putting too much in. I'll just get on to the next one and hopefully get that one right. Billy, 
Jesse, 15 minutes to go. Come on, Jesse! Let's go, come on! 15 minutes to go and it's time to get my chicken out of the pressure cooker. I need to get it out so that I can glaze it and have it really brown and sticky, ready for service. This is the second part of twice cooking this chicken, so I have to be really careful not to overcook it. If I serve overcooked chicken to the judges... Keep an eye on that glaze, Billy. That'll be my chance gone. Guaranteed immunity and the power apron. There is five minutes to go. Rice noodles are pretty much just staying the same, and I just don't think they're going to get any better. Oh, they can't afford to waste any more time on them. Nah, I'm going to get rid of them. Yeah, I have to call it now. It's not worth the risk of not putting up a complete plate. I know that there's some vermicelli in the pantry, so I can cook that in no time at all and put that on the plate. Go, 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 go. I'm disappointed that the noodles haven't worked, but I've got to move on to my spring onion sauce and my chilli and ginger sauce. Home stretch, one minute. Time to get plating. Jesse, make sure you put your broth in a container. about my noodles, but all in all, I, yeah, I'm really happy with my dish. Um, there's a lot at stake with this cook today. I just hope I haven't overcooked the chicken. A lot on the line, obviously. The power apron, which everybody wants, and more than that, they want the immunity pen. So both up for grabs from this cook. Let's get the first dish in. Here we have Hyannese chicken soup. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, a bit of technique shown on the chicken. Let's try it. Beautifully, good dish. Yeah, a, a lovely, fresh, light summer dish. I like that. I think it's, it's a really nice, refreshing look at a, a classic, which is Hainanese chicken. But you know what? What would have been great is if they'd had a go at making their own noodles. Right. Shall we score the dish? Yes, let's. Shall we get the next dish in? Here we have twice cooked orange and cinnamon glazed chicken. Gonna serve up. Well, I think the, the key here will be if it's twice cooked, the risk is always that that could mean dry. So it'll be interesting to see whether it's fall apart and delicious or cooked too much. Mm. 
Oh, wow. I'm not leaving this one undone. You can chat away if not. Salty, sweet, uh, fragrant, acidic with the orange. Chicken cooked absolutely beautifully. So it literally, look at that, falls off the bone. Love every bit of it. This is super delicious and something you'd sit in a restaurant and pay good money for. It's familiar, mm. and it's delicious. And you get that bit of heat not only from the chilli, but also from the ginger. It's going to be interesting, this yeah. one. Two good dishes. Pressure is definitely on right now. Wow. It's really happening. We just don't want to lose, right? Don't we worry about lose. winning. We just don't want to lose. We're not going to lose. It's different. Tracy, are you ready to go? Uh, I'm going to be cutting it right. Um, I'll be chopping right to when they come in the door. Needs more boosting? Oh, it needs, yeah, heaps okay. more. OK, let's build it up again. Mm. Okay. I am so concerned with making this broth perfect. I know that's going to make or break. This broth has to be banging. Go more. Yeah, I think more. Because it's not quite living up to its name yet. It it's needs hot to, and spicy. yeah. It needs to be hot and spicy. So I'm still adding chilli. I'm just going to add, like, a jar of sambal. Oh, good idea. You have one minute to go. Come on. Come on, guys. Russell, let's go. Russell. Come on. And we'll dress the moment I walk in. Yep, beautiful. Okay? Yep. You shouldn't be chopping now. And how fast are those little tacos cooking? I don't think we've got enough. I'm pretty worried at this point. 200 people are about to arrive, and I've only managed to get about 20 serves pre-cooked. Can you feel that rumble? You've got 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The MasterChef night markets are open. I can just hear footsteps. I can hear excitement. I can hear people coming. It sounds like a stampede and my heart starts pounding, it's time to go. Oh my god, look at oh that. Oh my god. So, you have it coming now, Brent? I've never seen so many people storm in. I'm starting to freak out. This is gonna be a lot tougher than I first thought. Oh my god. When I see the flood, I think, oh my god. I know that we're about to be slammed. Two? Three? Hi, guys. How are you? Hi, guys. Welcome. After some Japanese. Welcome to Japan. How many would you like? Yeah, no worries. It's a crazy feeling. You think, we're going to serve all these people. It's broth. Just us eight people are serving these 200 people. Does anyone have a booking? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and. That is a hell of a lot of food to get out. We've only had two and a half hours to prep. Mm -hmm. Keep them going, yeah, keep them so going. Yeah, so we've got a um, nice school prawn um, kakiyaga, it's called. It's like a little tempura cake. With shiitake broth, and we've got some spring onions, and a nice chicken and miso ball as well. It's not overwhelming, but it, it's pretty close. Please don't start a riot. Form seven lines. <laughs> I've got no idea if we're going to keep up with demand. I'm sure we can do it up until we run out of something. So I'm starting to think, what are we going to run out of and when? Just still trying to find the best way to get this working. <laughs> Guys, tonight we are 100% relying on your vote, not the judges, so make sure if you love what we've given you that you vote for red. I'll give you a little bit more in that one. Okay, so this is the Chinese stalls, a hot and spicy pork and mushroom soup with glass noodles, pickled baby corn, and there's some fresh coriander and chilli. Oh, wow. Mm. The little pork balls, they're very tender. Oh, yum. Oh, hello. Certainly packs a punch. Yum! That is incredibly comforting to me. It's the sort of soup I'd have at my grandmother's. It's perfect for this, for this weather and it's incredible. It certainly hits the spot. This is my two pennies worth. I've got one spoonful to go. I love the texture. I love those little sort of meatballs of pork, which are kind of, you know, they break up. You know, they're really tender. I think that's a smashing dish. A bit stressed onto the pump. <laughs> one minute, guys. Off to get some coriander. There's so many people. <laughs> Guys, thank you for waiting. It's 45 minutes to go. We've run out of prawn tempura. Sean said the last thing we want to be doing is deep frying things for service, and I'm just about to deep some fry some stuff for service. So our little production line just completely falls over, and we are nowhere near the end of service, and people are still lining up. Hey, crispy. Yeah, big yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, that's a great. Okay, next slot in. Three here. One, two. Yours won't be a second. As fast as we can do it, 
they're flying away. There you go, enjoy, grab yourself some cutlery there. I mean, the line's four wide and as deep as I can see, and I'm just thinking, when is it going to start getting shorter? And it's not getting any shorter. It doesn't look that long since the start, so uh, I thought it would be getting smaller, but it's getting bigger. I thought that the um, the red team with their noodles, I thought that the broth was just a little bit bland. Um, it was really nice and fresh, and the fact that they cooked the prawns fresh was was great, but um, I thought maybe some of the flavours, yeah, could have been a little bit, bit better. They're definitely the red team. The weight is going to make a big difference in my voting. Um, as a comparison, the yellow team smashed it out in a couple of seconds. The serving was amazing. The tastes were really nice, and they, they it felt like I was kind of in Japan. <laughs> So it really took me back, it was nice. So we've got here a little udon noodle soup with chicken balls and a tempura prawns. So lots of texture, I love that. These little tempura prawns, they're like little fritters, absolute winner. I'm loving all of the textures, but I do want some more flavour in there. Would it have been another, another big dash of soy? Too subtle for a market dish. Yeah, but don't forget, guys, I mean, it's good food. Look, at the end of the day, the three of us today are only commentators. <laughs> We're not judges at all, because at the end of the day, the 200 punters, they're the ones voting. Let's wait and see. Thank goodness this piece of duck is absolutely perfect. I'm going to get it in the oven and get these noodles boiling in a pot of water. Make it beautiful. I taste my broth. Yeah, I think it's good. It tastes absolutely beautiful. This is the best broth I've ever made, and I'm going to get this water spinach stem straight into it. Nice. Christina. I cut into the duck and I'm so happy. It looks beautiful. <laughs> I pushed myself really hard today. I was down to the wire, but knowing the flavours that are in my dish today, I'm feeling quite good. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Chinese-inspired duck dish with noodles and a broth. Happy with the ingredients I got today. Happy the noodles have a nice texture. The broth's delicious. It's good that you're happy. The really important thing... Is that you're happy? It's that we're happy. And you stay in the competition, so we'll taste now, Christina. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. guys. It's going to be a bugger to serve now, Matt Preston. But you, you, we both got to eat <laughs> you know, As George would do, a few little... Uh, an individual piece of yep. chilli. Mm -hmm. an, an extra stem, just as mm -hmm. garnish. I think we need some sort of carrot on yours, just like that. I'm really happy with that. I think that broth, beautifully well balanced. Kind of sweetness and, and heat and spice warm through the broth is delicious. That combined with the, the, that really nice chew of the, the water spinach, just using the stems is an inspired idea. I love the braised stems of the, the water spinach. And the duck, she nailed it. Christina's best dish so far? Yeah, and I reckon, to be honest, mm. uh, a hard one to beat. That is really good. Shall we get yeah. the next dish in? Let's do it. Being the first person out of the competition is just not an option for me. So I know that I really have to bring it to get my butt out of there quick smart. I can't explain how intense it is just because, you know, this is my home dish. So this is my challenge to win. If I don't win it, then, you know, I don't know what my challenge is. I was born in Australia, but my parents are from Malaysia and they're Chinese. And for me to impress Kylie Kwong would mean so much to me and my family. So today I'm going to be doing a fried rice with a chili garlic paste. I'll be using pork-based proteins because pork is such a high influence in Chinese cooking. So I've gone with the pork belly and I'm putting my new take on things. I'm putting in prosciutto as well. I'm feeling as though the prosciutto is a big gamble for me because of that it is an Italian ingredient. But I'm determined to give it a go because at home I love using prosciutto. It's got a beautiful saltiness to it and I believe that adds to the whole dish. I'm doing a marinated uh, pork fillet fried rice with crispy bacon, spring onions, carrot, capsicum, and just really trying to keep it really fresh and vibrant. Time hasn't been my best friend in this competition so far. Yesterday I was pretty shattered. I didn't put up a dish. What happened? Time management wasn't there today. Don't. 
push things to the wire. Because otherwise, you're gone. It's competition. I'm just going to try to stay calm and collected and just get something on the plate today because uh, there's no way I'm not putting something up today. It is a bit intimidating presenting an Asian dish to Kylie Kwong. She's the queen of Chinese cooking and you don't have much time to think in 30 minutes, so I just uh, went into machine mode. Half your time down already. 15 minutes to go. Come on, guys. Let's go. I love fried rice. I mean, you talk about it as being a sort of soulful, comforting dish. It's always a treat for me. What would you like to see? I mean, obviously, we, we need first of details all, here. First of all, I'd love to see egg in it. I want to see a fluffy egg omelette. I want to see a bit of flavour. Is that ginger? Is it salted radish? Is it some dried shrimps, diced bacon, or finely diced lap chong sausage? In terms of their mise en place, are you looking for this spend a good 20 minutes chopping, cutting, preparing, and then that last sort of five you minutes to That's right. hot wok, yeah. That's right. go for it. That's right, hot, hot, hot. Add the fluffy egg at the last minute and the shallots. Sounds good to me. How are you going, Brendan? Yeah, good, I don't feel too bad. Three rounds cooking for Kylie Kwong. Each round's going to get harder, and I'm not comfortable cooking Chinese cuisine. Trying to just keep it simple, to be honest, because I'm kind of winging it here. But I've got to get my head out of Indian zone because I need to be one of those first 12 to be safe. Hello. Hello. And that's Gaylan, isn't it? Shredded Gaylan through there, yes, finely sliced Gaylan, which I really like. Yes. I saw you doing that and I thought, oh, that's interesting. I've never done that before. Now, upon tasting it and seeing it, it works very well. I like it. Well done. Thank you. I can't add anything to that. That's just your little moment together. Thank you. I'm quietly <laughs> elated. I'm thinking fab things. She actually uses the words, I really like it. Next up, Amelia. Is that uh, finely sliced Chinese white cabbage suet? Yes. Yeah. That's great in terms of texture. <laughs> I love it. Yay! <laughs> Georgia. It looks very simple, but it really packs a punch. I yeah. think it's really think delicious. It's, it's quite traditional. Oh, Might even be the best one so far. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And... Emily. Pork on the top's very tasty. I really like that. I like the flavour. <laughs> Tracy. The flavour's very good. I can see those mushrooms there too, the gnocchi mushrooms. I think it's a great effort, Tracy. Keep up the good work. Stephen. Hello. Hello, Stephen. You look very short during the cook, but are you happy with this dish? I'm definitely happy with it. This is one I do at home for myself. Okay, let's go. So at first glance for me, it certainly looks traditional. Um, lots of little bits and pieces mixed in with the rice, uh, the pork, the eggs, the shallots. Prosciutto, I've never put prosciutto in my fried rice because that's Italian. Did you use white pepper? Or did yes, sir, I love white pepper in that one, yeah. White pepper's fine, but for me, it should be there, but sort of like you don't notice it. The moment I can, yeah. the moment I can pick it up and taste it straight away, I'm kind of going that it's too much. So for me, you may have a problem. All right, thank you. I'm feeling absolutely gutted that I haven't been able to put off a dish that I really thought that I could nail. Next up, Tash. Beautifully presented, Tash. Thank you. There's lots of stuff in there. I like stuff. Mm. You two should try this. Nice amount of lump chong, but not too much. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, presented well. It's pretty. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> Love it. Well done. Beautiful. Well done, Tash. If Kylie Kong thinks my fried rice is okay, 
I'm probably in with a shot. Scott. Scott, so far you haven't exactly covered yourself in glory in the Master Chef kitchen. No. Is this dish going to redeem you? It was a tough day mm -hmm. yesterday for me and uh, had to regroup and uh, do a bit of soul searching and find out what this competition meant to me. And What does it mean to you? you got to have things in life that make you happy and this is what makes me happy. Right. Fantastic. Tell us about your rice. So I've done um, a pork fried rice with some uh, julienne carrots, ginger, garlic, and sautéed off some a little bit of capsicum as well, and just with an Asian sauce to tie it all in Which together. Which Asian sauce was that? I use some oyster sauce, some soy sauce, and some sesame, with also some uh, lemon and lime juice as well. Wow. Okay. The omelette's really good. It's flavoursome in terms of the knife skills. I think they're excellent. I mean, you've done the finely sliced shallots on the top, the finely sliced carrots. The rice is separated, but I'm asking myself, is there too much going on there in terms of the flavour? Is it a little bit too sweet? My sort of idea of traditional fried rice is of a savoury, savoury palate. Lime and lemon juice, probably more Thailand, mm. not in China. That would be my only thing. Is it the sort of fried rice I'd expect to find in Kylie's restaurant? Definitely not. Probably not. But is it tasty? Yes. And that's where we're going to have to balance up where you stand. Thank you very much. Cheers. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but if my flavours are good, then hopefully it keeps me out of that elimination. Rachel. The last thing you want to do is go home because you didn't season it enough with salt. Brent. There's a lot of rice. Yeah. Okay. So a little bit less rice, more flavour. OK. Ben. I fear that black apron might be yours for a little bit longer. Oh, so it may be. Next up, Brendan. Walking my dish to the judges, I feel good. I've put a plate of food up that I'm happy with and that I know I would love. Now, you've never cooked a successful fried rice, you told no. us as we were walking around. Chinese food certainly isn't where my skills or knowledge lie. So uh, did you do a good job? I think I did a good job. What's the dark sauce you used? Um, so I used Brendan? ketchup menace. And the lime is? I, I would like to squeeze it over the top because I think it needs a little, um, a little tartness on there. It's quite a sweet rice. It's not at all Chinese in terms of traditional Chinese yep. flavours. It's incredibly spicy. All I can taste is, gosh, there's quite a few chilies in there, isn't there? Yeah, I, I love spicy food. I'm, I hope it's not too spicy. <laughs> I'm still tasting that chilli. Like, all I can taste is chilli. That's all I'll say about that. OK, no, yep. no, thank you. <laughs> yep. uh, uh, yeah, it's not Chinese. We'll have to see where, how that plays out yeah, nice. when we announce the 12th. Yep. But you know what? Maybe not so good if Carly goes, that's all I'll say about it. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Carly. Super surprised because I thought she would love hot food. It's not long until service now, I know that. So right now Mimi and I are assembling the salad. We've got the boys on the pork belly. Got a nice generous char on them, yeah. Uh, feeling ready for service. This is awesome. We're here, they're hungry! Three minutes to go! Three minutes to go, I can There's so many people here, it's crazy. Oh, is that good? So good. Yeah? Happy? You look happy? No. I tasted the first dumplings that we fried and they taste great. They're not exactly like my mum's ones, but she doesn't fry them. Yeah, I think they're better fried. Alright, I'm gonna get them in the oven. The oven's at 80 degrees. We've got a lot of wontons just ready to go, staying warm in the oven. I'm hoping they don't dry out. Keep working on dumplings. Open the house and let's go. Let's boogie. Right, this is it. Ten seconds before service. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring on the trouble. So service starts and there's 
hundreds, hundreds of people everywhere. And what have I got myself into? Hi, how are you? Thanks, Wonton Sip. Wonton, there we go. Wonton, there we go. Just pay over there, take one. Three of each. Three of each. Thank you very much, guys. Service starts and people literally run to the yellow team. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. I have one of each. One of each. There you go, thank you. Hi. Beef? What the heck is going on? Like, only a few months ago, I was sitting at my house in Queensland, and now I'm in a service challenge in the middle of Chinatown next to Kylie Kwong. Hey, let's move it. Perfect. Let's move it quickly, Hi. cashiers. Kylie just, she thrives off service. She loves it. Have one of each. Listen to the captain. Two of each? Sure. Two beef, two pork. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, I need more of everything, please. Come in. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Can I please have the pudding? The pudding? You certainly can. Go, Nicola. Go, go. Faster. That's it. The atmosphere in this kitchen is crazy. I'm struggling to keep up with plating up these desserts. Come on, double speed. You've got to go. Well, your life depends on it. Yes, they go, pudding. Yeah. This is Nicolette special. She's done it all herself. Ah, there's so many people. Our food is flying out, and I'm so glad we did three dishes because people are asking for one of everything. Nicolette's doing such a great job. Hot enough? It would be eyes are watering, but, you know, I, I get all the smoky jobs, it seems. I don't know why. You've had half an hour. You've still got one hour left to feed all of these people. No! 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 Come on over to Yellow, guys! Everything's running so smooth. Got a good train going. Everybody's working really well, and everybody's super happy. There are easily more than a 1,000 customers here. And I'm really happy that most people are ordering both of our dishes. My concern at the moment is that we only have two dishes and Red Team has three. Thank you so much, guys. Well, here we have the offering from the, the Red Team. Some wontons, noodles and pork, and it's great. They're, they've done an extra dessert, you know, over and above what we asked. Let's start. Let's, tuck in. Let's start with the, with the wontons. I've been dying to taste them, I have to say, and the chilli sauce looks quite nice. I love the chilli sauce. I think, for me, that's the highlight. Bright red, got a kick to it. It's a nice amount of sweetness, which is lovely. It's still got that lovely fruitiness of the chilli, which I think is delicious. These, unfortunately, are a little bit dry. I think the technique and the idea behind it was excellent, though. I mean, it's yeah. the only way they can pump out 500 of those. Yeah. Come on, wontons, guys! Really impressed with the red team's wontons. Really, I love the crunch on the outside, and then really nice combination of the pork and the prawn as well. well what would you like? Noodle? Two noodles. Are you coming back again? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Try the pork. That combination of pork and XO, for me, is an automatic winner. And you, you look happy, Carly. There's actually quite a bit of flavour there. Yeah. That XO sauce is incredibly intense and flavoursome. The noodles are cooked perfectly. The pork's quite tender. I love that. No, not really yeah, good. No, I think it is. that's it's really clever. Boring. I've had the Red Team's XO noodle salad. It was great. Really, really tender. Lots of, lots of flavour. What would you like? Sago pudding. Sago pudding? So, nice. pudding. Pudding. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Comfort food. Light, fresh, not too sweet. Fresh raspberries, texture. That little bit of chew from the sago. Yeah. Love the fresh fruit, love the dragon fruit. Can I just say, I know this is a team challenge, but Nicola single-handedly did this dish on her own. Yeah, I know. And I reckon that a lot of people are going up and they're buying one, two, three. Now, that is a $5 Absolutely. difference out of the yellow team. Fantastic that they've done a third dish yeah. and something sweet. I mean, uh, that could be the difference today.